This valve broke and replaced it and I'm really fascinated with this ball valve so I'm going to cut it open and have a look inside. There are two ways to cut this open. One is to cut along this plane, the next one is to cut along this plane. Along this plane is a seam mark so there may be a things of interest along here to see how this was molded. So um, this while this may be easier I'm choosing to cut along this plane. So I'm going to cut off the pieces of the ends here the PVC, cut down, cut down and then cut across here maybe with a dremel and have a look inside. This, it really is amazing they could do this for that price point. I mean, a little over a dollar US. It really, really, I mean, almost all fittings, PVC fittings, they have a fixed time that they're going through. So you can put a rod inside, have a mold on the outside and get a form. This expands in the center. It's split along here. And then there's a ball in here. Look at it. It appears that they've done, this is the pipe here but there appears to be a second piece coming off here so I'll try to pry it out but it looks like they've implanted another piece inside here and squeezed it in so I'll have to try prying it out and see how I get it but this is where the pipe stops and the pipe stops here and there is definitely a lip here something separated I haven't tried this side yet on top of that this is the top cover the cover broke up into little pieces it had two little tabs that held on on both sides of this as you could see but it appears that only one piece was stuck on inside here and that this was largely held on by the cap pushing over those two sides um strange it seems to have worked i mean this broke as opposed to um, you know as opposed to it slipping so yeah but it works this is the top of it the top and the extent of the seal is really just this ball piece and this I wouldn't want to call it an o-ring but yeah similar to o-ring just not bow shaped <laughs> right but um yeah so that just fits in there and this just comes in from below and yeah that forms the seal this is definitely um molded separately as we could see from it uh this is the line so this is the line going all the way up around and this is molded as a separate piece as it turns out, yes, this is a full separate sleeve. I was able to actually pry that out completely from in there. This edge should held on well and it broke off the main body. And this is the pipe itself from before. Side is a little bit more obvious here. You can clearly see that lip and that lip is the same piece. Where, where is it? Right. That's this, the other side of this. That I basically just put a screwdriver in there and just keep tapping until it pries out. So that is a separate piece. This is a separate piece, so there's two sleeves, sleeve, sleeve, and then this appears to be a separate sleeve altogether that goes up to here. And essentially, the ball is put in into this sleeve, and then you have this sleeve, this sleeve, all aligned. Chances are that have been opened, all aligned with a mandrel, most likely. And then what you'll have done is just inject this plastic around. So, this plastic on the outside is just a housing, everything was pre assembled. It makes a lot more sense now because I was just trying to figure out how the hell did they get this inside there and basically mold around it without the plastic fusing onto this and messing it up and messing up because you need a fairly nice surface here it's not that great actually surprisingly it's actually not as good as I would have thought but the rubber is pretty good this rubber is reasonably good and that's taking up the compliance but I would have thought that would have been a little bit smoother and get that smooth surface not foul by you know pressure and plastic in there that's at the same temperature as this and i already suspected that maybe this is a different kind of plastic so what i'm going to do is just put some pvc glue on it and see if it melts if it is in fact pvc this may in fact be a different kind of plastic yeah and i ended up trying to burn it and yes they both smell the same this is the handle at the top of the handle and this is the piece that they got so yeah they do smell like pvc so chances are they're both pvc as a very very interesting design though quite impressed just about to wrap this up something else came to light if you look at here there is a piece that's formed out and plastic on the back and then if we look at the other side we see the same thing here interestingly this is not a seam line this is in fact a line where two pieces were joined so this thing is made into halves a piece here and a piece here fitted over the ball.